Welcome. I'm a mom of eight kids. Well, <laughs> I'm a single mom of eight kids. Um, my husband passed away suddenly July 16th of this year, for those of you who don't know. But um, I want to show you my brilliant plan, which I've been perfecting over the years, of how I afford Christmas, and I pay zero dollars. That's right, you heard me. Zero dollars for Christmas. What's that? You don't think it can be done? Well, let me turn the camera around and I'll show you exactly how I do it. Now prepare to be amazed. Okay, I've been doing this for years and I managed to perfect it over the years that I've been doing it. I'm going to call it the Rosalie Method. And I'll also share with you later on some tips and what I did before I came up with this brilliant plan of mine. And so uh, stay tuned till towards the end of the video. Um, <clears throat> this is from last year. I just like to compare how I did uh, the Christmas previous to the cr present Christmas. And um, I've got my Christmas list here and everything. Okay, so this is how I do it. I have a Walmart Rewards World MasterCard. I've had it for quite a while and that gives me 3% uh, back on my purchases at walmart.ca. It gives me 1.25% uh, back cash back at purchases in store, 1% everywhere else and 1.25% for gas. And I've had it for years. Uh, I started out with the original Walmart MasterCard, but uh, then when they came out with the World uh, MasterCard, they offered it to me because I'd been with them for a while and I had a good account. And they've become kind of stingy lately. It used to be 6% at Walmart online and then 3% in the store. So they changed that recently. I'm not sure at one point when they did and I also have a PC Optimum points card and uh, in Canada you can use that at No Frills, you can use it at Zares and any of these Loblaws owned companies and so I get my groceries from Zares and recently No Frills a lot and so here's what I do I put everything on the Walmart MasterCard and I mean everything all the monthly bills uh, I've even used it for purchases as small as six dollars I use that card for everything and I let it accumulate all year and then by the time Christmas comes along I have a nice chunk of Walmart rewards that I can use and the PC optimum points which I can use to cover groceries by the end of the year. And what I also do uh, because I like to be efficient with money is I buy the bulk of toys on Black Friday. This year though Black Friday has been scattered with their sales which is fine. And um, if you're going to say, oh, but Rosalie, you could only use those points for groceries. Well, it comes out to the same thing, whether I use them to cover the groceries and I buy the toys online or if vice versa, it comes out to the same. So you don't have to worry about the Walmart rewards only being able to use it at Walmart because you use it to cover whatever purchases you make at Walmart and then get what you need to get elsewhere and it'll just come up to the same in your bank account. So no worries. Now my husband said in a previous video, um, this was a drive through video when he was alive, uh, he said we pay cash for everything. Now, what he was meaning by that is uh, for big purchases, we don't buy big items unless we have the money to cover it. So even though some things you might have to use the credit card to buy if it's online, um, we then pay the credit card off every month. So 
yeah, we only buy things with cash in the event that we have to use a credit card or what I do, I use the credit card for everything. It's cleared off by the end of the month, every single month, so we always have the cash to cover our expenses. That's the trick. You gotta be able to not accumulate a balance on your credit card, because if you do, then, well, you're not really getting much of the benefit out of the points then, are you? And for those of you who don't believe that I can pay the credit card off every month, that is my balance. So, um, I also mentioned in a previous video that uh, we don't have any relatives. I don't have any relatives that I speak to. I don't have any friends. Um, so, I just have to buy gifts for my eight children. And uh, we don't do any Christmas stockings. And the reason is because uh, when my husband and I got together, uh, he had told me with his previous wife that she did Christmas stockings and she would buy like expensive things to put in it. It'd be like over a hundred dollars in of stuff in the Christmas stocking. It was just totally ridiculous and absurd. So when we got together, he didn't want to do any Christmas stockings whatsoever. I was okay with that because my parents are both European and I was brought up, um, my dad had the idea that Christmas stockings were only for things like chocolate and edible candy, that kind of thing. Um, I never ever got any toys in my Christmas stocking growing up. So anyway, so that's a tradition that we've been doing with uh, our kids and they've never complained about not ever getting Christmas stockings. Um, I don't know if I'll ever do it in the future now, but um, for this Christmas here I'll keep it uh, what to what they're used to. Okay, so, um, now another thing I want to explain is how I do the Christmas gifts. Um, like I said, we've got eight children. The older boys, um, my 20 year old, Arian, he got some books. He often wants books for Christmas. So I budget around $100 for him. And in fact, I can write that down here because I need to write down what I'm getting them and get it all organized here. Okay, so Arian, um, last year he actually got one single book. It was a Netter's Anatomy. It was a medical textbook. Now let me zoom you in here. It was a medical textbook that he wanted of the human body and it was like over a hundred dollars for the textbook, which I'm fine with. Because they don't usually ask for much ongoing. And I'm okay if it's a little bit over a uh, hundred dollars, that's fine. So I try and do about a hundred dollars for everybody. Uh, the little one, uh, he's going to be turning to January 31st. I don't really need to work on budgeting for him because he's at an age where he'd be happy with anything. He'd be happy with the bubble wrap. <laughs> Just as much as with a toy you'd buy him. Maybe even the wrapping paper. We, we've had some little ones that love the wrapping paper. Okay, so a hundred dollars for Arian, and what he wants this Christmas is uh, he's really into alchemy, and if you don't know what alchemy is, it's like uh, chemistry. It's like chemistry, and what he needed was a new heating mantle, and I'll write that down here. That's going to be about a hundred dollars, maybe a hundred and thirty. I'm not sure. And that's all he's asked for because he knows that would be a significant amount of money. 
Okay, now I'm going to write down here what I have available to use for Christmas. So, at Walmart, the Walmart Rewards, oh, sorry, you can't see that. The Walmart Rewards, I have over $600. It's uh, actually $607 right now, but let's round it down to $600. And when I calculate their Christmas present, the pricing, uh, sometimes I include the tax in it and sometimes I don't. Um, okay, and then the PC Optimum, I had $200 and I already used $90 of that, which equates to 90,000 points. So now I'm left with 110, but this is the number. Um, I've used 90, $90 already of my points because I've already been buying Christmas gifts. Like I told you, I, I start with the Black Friday sales and that's when I like to get the bulk of it is I like to get everything on sale that I can. Now for those of you that don't believe me or that this can be done, I'm showing you the computer and this is my Walmart rewards amount. And you can see it's this year and I've got that amount in Walmart rewards. I'll also show you my PC Optimum. Here we are, we're on the PC Optimum website and hang on here. See that was December 2nd, I already used uh, 90, 90 points. So you see I got $90 off of my groceries. And if I scroll up, you will see what I have left over. Hang on here, right there. So there it is, $200 worth of points in groceries. Okay, so, um, yeah, this is the number I'm gonna use, the $200. So six, seven, eight, that leaves me with $800 for Christmas. Uh, I'm not going to be counting in anything like a roast or anything like that because we don't like turkey. Uh, I'll probably just make a roast beef or something like that, which I already have in the freezer. So we don't need to buy a lot for the groceries. Um, uh, they're allowed to get snacks with every weekly grocery trip I do. So, and I don't have to buy extra food for anyone coming over. So I won't be adding in any holiday grocery budget amount. Okay, so now, um, as I mentioned, uh, the baby, uh, he's fine. Um, anything goes for him. I'll probably just get him like one gift. It doesn't even have to be expensive. Okay, next one uh, would be, okay, Empress. Now, again, she wants everything and she's okay with anything. So she'll be getting some gifts. Now what I like to do is I like to get them about three to five gifts. It varies year by year. It also depends on what they want. So if it's three gifts, and that would be about $100 for all three, like I said, if I have to go over, if it ends up being 110, even 120, I'm okay with that. Um, if it's three gifts, then they could get like a large gift, and maybe two medium sized gifts in terms price wise, not physically or I don't know, maybe like a really large 
costly gift and two smaller ones it, like that if it's more than three then I get them smaller gifts because um, they have lots of beautiful toys at home they don't need a lot okay so um, sorry about all the ums here I'm recording this late at night so I'm going to move it up here now um, passion I should leave some space here it really depends on how I do with the medium aged kids uh, passion she's seven deity and victory are older victory is 13 and depends on what they want because with passion or I sorry with Empress she can say she wants something and then get I could get her something else and she'll be happy with whatever she gets but the older boys and uh, passion is getting to an age where she's starting to want specific toys and if you get her something else she might not be well she I wouldn't get her something she doesn't want but she may still want what she wanted for Christmas another time you know so okay so um, I'll put passion down here let me see here I got one two three for Empress or five now I'll put passion here I haven't bought many gifts for passion yet um, hang on here uh, okay I got her a couple um, she wanted some a couple expensive toys uh, she wanted this cookies toy cookies maker which I can't find anywhere it's out of stock everywhere uh, holiday hot toy she wanted um, magic mixies the rainbow one which is like eighty dollars and I saw it on sale this week for sixty five dollars at Walmart she also wanted this little live pets mama surprise um, it's a hamster and that is like that's a lot of money too that is I think like hang on here um, I'll look it up it's seventy one dollars I just can't remember if that's the sale price um yeah Walmart is charging eighty dollars seventy nine ninety seven in Canada and I think it's on sale right now for seventy one dollars at Toys R Us so that takes up a large chunk of money of the hundred dollars that I like to keep it or keep it a minimum of a hundred dollars one of the reasons why I like to keep it at such a minimum amount of money per child is because that forces me to have to look for sales and not just sales like good sales good sales on toys because like I said we got lots of really nice toys they don't need more um, and uh, keeping it to a hundred dollars I got to get toys that are good that are deeply discounted and I also like to put thought into the longevity of the toys such as is it can, is it a toy that they can use across several ages or is it just something that they're gonna like use once kind of, um, and then or, or grow out of it in like a month or two you know I don't like these kinds of toys that are like that I like toys that can be enjoyed for a long time for example if you're hard-pressed to think of one those magnetic tiles are fantastic uh, I don't know if you've ever seen them but we have several sets of these magnetic tiles they are called magnet tiles are called Picasso tiles they're called uh, play mags 
um, all kinds of brands. The difference in the, the prices of these varies a lot. And the magnet tiles are the most expensive ones, but apparently they're the most durable, so you don't have to worry about magnets falling out so much and a little one consuming the magnets. But they're the most expensive and they're the original. Um, and then, of course, uh, the quality goes down from there. Play Mags is a good close second. We have a few Play Mags uh, sets. Their magnets are even stronger than the magnet tiles. And these are toys that I like because all of our kids play with them like almost every single day. They can make anything they want out of it. You can buy add-on kits uh, with specialized uh, pieces like a stairs and stuff like that. So that's a fantastic toy. And it's not specific to a gender either, you know? So that, that's a fantastic one there. Okay, so, um, yeah, so Passion, uh, she wanted these toys, and I'm not crazy about these toys because, like I said, the Magic Mixies, it's a kind of toy where you have to buy refills, like refill packets for this Magic Cauldron, and, you know, like, you're just going to get tired of having to buy these refill packets. They're probably 20 bucks a refill and difficult to find, you know. I'm not crazy about that kind of toy. I'm also not crazy about the little live pets, the uh, Mama Surprise one, just because it's so pricey. And that would mean that I'd have to give her, get her like very low priced toys in addition to that. So it doesn't give me a lot of um, selection to choose from for the small toys. You know, I, anyway. Okay, but what I did get her so far is um, some other things on her list. Hang on here, I'm just looking at the laptop. Um, okay, she is really into Sonic the Hedgehog and she wanted this uh, Tails kind of stuffy. It's like a uh, evil Tails stuffy. And that cost me $18.53. Sorry. $18.53. Um, that's including the tax. Oh no, wait, sorry, the shipping and handling. It was actually like $12.99. $12.99 plus the shipping, which was $5.54, $5.54. So, like I said, um, I don't always include the tax with the toys. Uh, if one year I'm finding that it's very difficult keeping the cost to $100, which it probably will this year, then I will not count the tax in it. Okay, um, all right, and this was the Tails plush. All right, then I bought another lower priced item for her, and this is still on sale here. It's the Scribble Scrubby Rainbow Set. It's the Crayola Scribble Scrubby Set. I bought this for her years ago, the one with the bathtub, and I wish I hadn't. <laughs> I knew she'd like it, but the problem is, is she then got some wrong ideas. She then started to think that she could color on all her toys, and she could color on everything. You know? Okay, sorry. My camera turns off after like 22 minutes of recording, and I didn't realize I had gone that long. Okay. Yeah, so if I did get her that little live hamster thing that she wants, uh, $71, that would still leave me with, that would be $100. So I could do it. And what I was saying is that if, oh, baby's crying, just a minute. Okay, I'm back. So what I was saying is that 
when I do three gifts per child up until my older boys, my 16 year old, 18 year old, and 20 year old, uh, they're not included in that because often they'll want like something that is maybe just one thing and it costs, you know, like all of that amount. If I choose to do three gifts for somebody, then that means that everybody gets three gifts. Or if it's five gifts, then they all get five gifts up until my 16 year old and my 18 year old and 20 year old because they're older, they usually want like one thing. It, that costs a uh, hundred dollars or more and so I always try to get the same well not try I do get the same amount of gifts for everybody um, younger uh, sometimes I have not been able to just because of the way the cost has worked out and I explained that to my boys when they were younger and they understood about a year or two ago uh, some of them got like maybe four gifts, some of them got three gifts, and I explained it to them in the way that they could understand, which is that I said, well, you know, this gift that you wanted, it costs a lot of money, and so you may have gotten less gifts, but the amount of money that we spent is, you know, the amount of money that we spent is the same amount and they understood that especially since they play games like Roblox and other games where you have to you know collect so many stars or so many points or something in order to get a upgrade in the game or special hat to wear or something like that so they understand that very well okay so um, I'm not sure yet though this year if they're going to be getting three or five gifts. I'm thinking it might lean more towards the five gifts for the younger ones. Okay, let me try and zoom you in a little bit more here. Okay, so um, that's all I have for passion right now. Next, uh, here is Deity and he's 10 years old and uh, what he really wants is this um, this treasure X it's called treasure X um, hang on here it's the new one that they just came out with the treasure X lost island or something I'm just trying to get it on the screen here It is Lost Lands Skull Island. Okay, so Treasure X, Treasure X, um, and I'll write Island for short. This I have already bought, and that originally is $60. Uh, some places even charge $70 for it. I think Toys R Us charges $70 for it or something, but I have a price in my head of how much I'd like to pay for it on sale and I'm reasonable with that. It's not just like a, a wishful thinking kind of thing. So I figured, well, since they just came out with it, I think fall, if I can get it for $10 off, I'm doing pretty good. So lo and behold, Black Friday weekend, um, Amazon had it on sale for $50.99 from $59.99. So I, I bought it and unfortunately right now they have it on another deal and it's $48.44. Now that pisses me off. I know it's just like a couple dollars but when you're playing a game of how cheap can you get things, uh, it, it's a piss off. Okay, so I also, on the Black Friday weekend, bought a bunch of Treasure X toys because uh, Deity, he really loves Treasure X and his older brother, 13, uh, he's 13 Victory, uh, he likes some of the Treasure X too. So, uh, well.ca had a really good price on them. They had um, 
these Treasure X Armor Robot Gold and normally that's about thirty dollars and they had it for um, let me see here they had it for um, it's I, I bought about three of them one for uh, passion one for deity and one for victory because victory and deity got some during the summer and then passion wanted her own so it was a ridiculously cheap price hang on here i wonder if i could i'll just i'll just have to calculate it okay i paid 40 40 47 this is my um ancient iphone 7 i'm still using <laughs> i'm tempted to get a an newer iPhone but I just can't justify paying the price for even like an iPhone 10 or 11 because this one still works fine okay so divided by three 13.49 I paid a measly 13.49 no wonder I bought three of them and I'm just double checking the regular price is Amazon has it right now on sale for 24.97 they don't say. But anyway, um, hang on here. You can find out the original price this way, I think. Nope, no, I can't. But anyway, I'm pretty sure it's about $30. And I'll just put it down as Treasure X Robot. 1349 um that means uh, i gotta bump it up to five gifts per person unless i keep that extra one that i bought for passion the treasure x robot i could put it aside and keep it for another occasion later on in the year tricky part with that though is that they could outgrow it before you bring it out of the closet to give it to them so okay I'm going to write down here the 1349 for the treasure X robot robot okay and I also got from well.ca these little mini uh, monster gold coffin things. It's showing me the price I paid for the three of them, which is 97 divided by 3, 4.99. Okay, I'll write it down as mini coffin. This is just an extra. Deity didn't ask for it. Nobody asked for these mini coffins for Christmas, but I know that it's harder to find good toys that are on the lower end of cost. And so I picked these up. I picked one up for Passion, one for Deity, and one for Victory, of course, um, as an extra because I knew that I might have to bump it up to five gifts per person and this helps to balance out the amount so they can still get five gifts and I can still be within that budget amount. Okay, next thing, um, let me see here, I guess that's all I have for Deity right now, no it's not, here let, let me check Amazon.com. Um, Okay, uh, yes, he wants, hang on here, this is actually his Christmas gift that he wrote, okay, the Skull Temple, which is the island one, now this one, he put TX, short for Treasure X, Mon Monster, he forgot the S, Coal Robots, yeah, I got that, that's this one here, 
He wants like a Plague Doctor Stuffy, which is $35.99. We actually already have two that are very similar to that, so I'm going to leave that out. That's a lot to pay for a, a plush. And then he wanted this Metal Sonic plush, which is $14. And I'm not sure if that will come before Christmas or not. Um... And he wanted the bigger coffin. The bigger Treasure X coffin. And that normally, I believe, was, I think, $30 as well. And somebody selling it on Amazon. It's fulfilled by Amazon and shipped by Amazon. And it's $19. Coffin. I'll put Treasure X. Nineteen twelve is what I paid. Nineteen twelve. Let me see. There you can see it better now. Um. Okay, so now we're at four. Oh yeah, and uh, he told me that Victory wanted this Minecraft Warden toy that makes sounds, which I bought it because it was on sale for about 26 or $27. And now um, he says that Victory doesn't want it, but he wants it. So what are we at? We're at, let's, let's just use simple numbers here, 50. 20, 80, uh, 85, almost 90, so that leaves about $10 left. Hmm. I don't know. Well, that metal Sonic plush he wants is $14. $14 and then the tax I think it comes up to $18 and then the warden toy like I said it was 28 or sorry 26 or $27 oh okay this uh, metal sonic plush has a $3.14 delivery and I don't even know if he's going to get it in time for Christmas. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's move on to victory now. If you haven't already done the math in your head, uh, the $800, that's a, a $100 for everybody, and then an extra $100 for any overlap or any anything it, that goes over $100, so it's flexible. It's kind of like a hundred dollar cushion. Okay, so next let's move on. Uh, one, two, three, four. That would be his fifth. And then here's victory. Victory. Okay. Now, he wanted a book. It's a Plants vs. Zombies comic book. Um... I would have bought him that even if it wasn't Christmas. Okay, that was fifteen seventy nine. The that's including the tax. Um, it was fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, I know I'm deviating from a pattern here, but oh well. Fourteen ninety nine. I'll put Plants vs Zombies book. Then he wanted this Halo Mega Blocks set, and this was the original price was forty one ninety seven, and I got it for thirty three fifty seven. You have to know, like, you have to get a feel for some toys. I wouldn't expect this to go down any further. Uh, it's already 20% off. 
and which toys, like I said, you set a number in your head what you'd like to pay for it and some toys are more likely to go on sale than others and you just kind of get a sense or, or a feel for it throughout the years. And this is the Halo, Halo set. Okay, and here's his list. Okay, I also told them to put the prices on their Christmas list. Okay, um, Treasure X Build Your Bot. He wanted that too, and he put $25 because he was using Amazon, the Amazon price. So lucky for me, I already bought that. And that was $13.49 again. And I didn't want Passion to see Victory get a Treasure X robot and Deity get a Treasure X robot and then she, you know, she would want one too because she asked me for one during the summer when they got some and she hasn't received one yet. Okay, Treasure X robot. So now, we're, what do we have here? Um, he even put the total. He even put the um, all on amp. Sorry, here, let me try and get this in here. I'm trying to get this in here. All on Amazon, 103 total. Because he's old enough, he knows what I, <laughs> what I like to spend. No shipping for any. He means there's no extra shipping costs. That's something that they've learned too. They'd see a toy and then I'd have to say, well, no, 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 that's not the whole price. It's this much for shipping. Okay, so we got the Plants vs. Zombies book. We got the Halo set he wanted, 33 Treasure X, Build Your Bot, and then Magnetic Tiles, STEM Toys, $30. He wanted more magnetic tiles. Isn't that something? We have so much already, but he wants to build bigger things now. So I was looking at two here. The one that he wanted is a 32 pieces and you can get it for $25.99 on um, Amazon.com. There's also another one. Uh, we've got this one, but we've got the bigger set, and it's really pretty. And even though Victory's not into Frozen, this is like a, a Frozen look-alike kind of thing. What he does like is this staircase that comes with it. Um, our bigger set came with two sets of staircases, but he likes this. And I can get this for $35. $35.99 so I'm not sure here I can put $25 to $35 magnetic tiles and it's a bigger set I think you get 41 tiles or something but this is going to put me over the hundred dollar mark again. Here, let me see here. Um, four pieces. Uh, 58 pieces. Okay, 58 pieces. Hmm. Okay, what are we at now? We are at 15. I'll round that to another 15. So 30. That's another 30, 60. Oh yeah, we can do this. Okay, there's room for that. And then the other thing, let me see here. Let me see, one, two, three, four. He only put down four toys on his list. Okay, the other thing is the warden. Now I'm not even sure if he's going to like it. But I did show deity as a secret because I wanted to get the sense of how if he would like one too so I said hey deity here I look want to see what I got victory 
you told me he wanted this warden toy. How do you like it? And he liked it a lot. So, uh, our kids don't believe in Santa Claus, by the way. I was not raised believing in Santa Claus. And, um, I did though when I was like very, very young. And my mom told me like some crazy thing about how if you're misbehave, you're going to not get coal in your stocking. No, no, no. He's going to take off his belt and whip you. And I was old enough to know that people make mistakes. Even parents make mistakes. And we were at the church one time and there was somebody dressed up as Santa Claus at the front handing out gifts to all the children that were called by name. And when my turn came, I was so afraid to go up and get my gift, um, I wouldn't go. So my mom had to take me by her hand and bring me up to the front to get my gift because I was so afraid that Santa Claus would take off his belt and spank me with it. It was crazy. But anyway, um, so, and my dad, uh, he never played into the whole Santa Claus fantasy because his attitude was, well, why would you lie to children? Why would you want to lie? So I was, I was not brought up believing in Santa Claus and our kids, they all know that I buy the toys. I tell them that it's just a fantasy. Um, okay, so I'm trying to find the price now that I paid for the warden toy. Um, Okay, just hang on here. And I did buy two of these already because of the sale and I knew that if I didn't need to, then I would just return one. Twenty-six twenty-eight. Twenty-six Twenty-eight. Okay, camera's about to shut off now, so I'll just pause it. Okay, now, how much do we have for victory now? We got one, two, three, four, five, and this would bring it over the hundred dollar mark. Okay, and let's see here. Deity, there's still one here. Yeah, I said Either I would get him the stuffy or, hang on here, let me look at his list again, Metal Sonic stuffy. I'm not getting the Plague Doctor. And they know, of course, too, I tell them that they can give me a Christmas gift, or Christmas list, but it doesn't mean they're going to get everything on it. So they know that as well. Um, hmm. One more gift for Deity. Um... Let me think here. Um, maybe what I'll do is I'll give him the warden and forget about the Metal Sonic plush he wants. Okay, what are we at with Deity here again? 50, 20, 50, 60, 70, 80. We're at 90. Okay, the warden would bring it about $110. Warden. Okay. 26.28. Because uh, that Metal Sonic stuffy he wants, I, I call it a stuffy, that Metal Sonic plush that he wants. Like I said, I don't even know if we'll get it in time before Christmas and with the tax and the shipping it'll probably be about $18 anyway. Okay, so where are we at with this now? Um, here, I'll switch pens here. Okay, 
Okay, I'll calculate this so deity is done now. 50.99 plus 13.49 plus 4.99 plus 19.12 plus 26.28. Where are we at here? 114. 114.87. And this is not including the tax. Okay. Now I gotta switch the batteries on the camera now. Okay, so deity is done now. That was a surprise. I didn't think anyone was done. Okay, now victory. Let's see how much this all costs together. Um, I know that's 25 to 35, but I can still get an approximate. Okay, 14.99 plus 33.57 plus 13.49 plus 26.28. Plus, let's do the $35 one. This would be $123.33. Well, I told you I've got a $100 cushion here, a $100 buffer to cover the cost. Um, hmm. I guess if I needed to, uh, I could get the cheaper set, but I'd really like to get him the one with the staircase because they always use the staircases. Okay, now, so far for passion, yeah, I, I already calculated that. There's room to get her the little life pets if she wants. Okay, um, Empress, I'm not doing her because like I said, she's fine with anything. Often she wants what her bigger sister wants anyway, Scribble Scrubbies. So I'm not going to get two of these um, Scribble Scrubbies though, un unless I have to. But I'm, I'm not sure about Empress right now. Now, moving on. Yeah, Erin wanted the heating mantle, which is going to be about $100. Now, Adonis. Adonis, and I know there's no consistency here with my notes. These are working notes, so they won't be perfect. Okay, now Adonis wants $100 cash, because he doesn't know what he wants. And Julius has not told me what he wants yet. But what I did with him one year, um, a couple of years back, he wanted a cell phone. And even though it was, it was a refurbished Samsung cell phone, and that was over $100, I think it was uh, like $200 to $300. Here, I can look up the exact price here. It was actually three years ago. Oh, okay, it wasn't nearly as much as I remembered. Okay, it was $172, so, and with the tax it came to $194.95. So what I did with him is he had his own cash from when he'd mow the lawn. My husband would pay him for mowing the lawn. So I covered half of it, or I would say the family covered half of it for Christmas, and then he put in the reduced amount um, like we put in a uh, hundred and he would have put in like the lesser amount of his cash and so he got a Samsung phone. Yeah, I'm not sure what he wants. He probably doesn't even know what he wants right now. Mm, what color should I use? Um, uh, I'll just use, uh, I'll just use blue.
Okay. Um, hmm, I'm looking up a heating mantle right now. I see one for $125.99. I don't know. Here's another one, 111. Here's a here's one that's even $87. There's another one, 88.99. Probably wants one similar to what we already bought him before. What did we pay for it before we paid a year ago we bought it it was $88 and with the tax it came to $99.44 okay so that is it right now as far as Christmas presents and Christmas gifts go but thank you for watching to the end of the video and uh, I appreciate any comments or suggestions that you may have. I know it's a little bit unconventional the way we celebrate Christmas, but it works for us. I got out these stickers. I was going to use them, but uh, I won't bother. It's late. I want to go to bed. Okay, and I hope uh, some of you will try this method and see if it works for you. Um, I recently, just last night, I cut my cell phone bill by half. I was paying $41. I cut it or reduced it by half. So if any of you are interested in watching my uh, me budget or uh, watching my seeing my bills every month, and they're how I get them down. They're minimalist bills. It's, it's a minimal amount of bills that I have every month. But if you're interested in watching that, let me know. Happy holidays and wish everybody a uh, wonderful time off for the holidays. I forgot to tell you what we did long ago before I did this kind of Rosalie method. Um, our, when our oldest uh, was only three or four years old and Julius, our second oldest, was only around two, we uh, had gone in the summer to some yard sales and there was one yard sale, one or two, and they had a lot of uh, really good condition toys, like very good condition and so we let them each pick out a toy that they wanted from the yard sale and while they were preoccupied looking at their toys I went ahead and I bought some others that I thought that they would like and I held on to them until Christmas and at that age they really don't care if the toy comes in packaging or not what I did is I took a box or two and I wrapped them up in that you could also use a uh, a gift bag if if you were going to do that. I wouldn't recommend doing this though with kids that are older because they get more particular uh, as they get older with what they want for Christmas. But uh, if your kids are young and you're strapped for cash and you could keep this in mind because uh, it was very economical and they were happy there was no complaints and I was able to buy them these other great toys that were in good condition um, and yeah it worked out so I hope you uh, learned something or enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, happy holidays. I wish everyone a Merry Christmas. I hope everybody has a wonderful time off <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, a few things I forgot about here. Um, I already bought the baby a toy here. It's this uh, Mio school bus Mio school bus toy. Um, so that was normally uh, 
That would have been over $30. I paid $15.99. Yeah, so I forgot I had already bought the baby a toy. Um, and that Warden toy, the Minecraft Warden toy for Victory, I think I'm going to end up returning because since he didn't add it to his Christmas list, I don't think he's interested in it anymore. And I also forgot that Passion wanted this coloring book. Um, it's $8 from Amazon. Now she has lots of coloring books already, but she just loves to color. So I think I'll put that in here. Um, I'll probably get her that coloring book. And then Empress could probably get her own same coloring book and then they can each have their own coloring book and color it at the same time um because often empress wants whatever passion has anyway last year i got her two toys that were the same as what passion was getting it was like a a barbie little chelsea camper and uh an ariel little mermaid ariel doll okay and i also forgot mini coffin that's normally between ten to fifteen dollars. Um, I said it was an extra. What I meant was it was an extra alongside the main, the main gifts that they wanted. So I'm probably going to return this warden, and I got to put down here the Treasure X mini coffin. And that was $4.99. And I got one for Passion 2. Okay, so I'm probably going to be getting rid of this one. And if one is under $100 and one's over $100, that's okay too. It balances out. I've had that one year where somebody was under $100 and then Victory's presents were like 120 So that's fine too. Like I said, I'm flexible. Okay, so... Oh yeah, in Passion here, I will add the mini coffin in here. Mini coffin... Oh, my light just turned off. Hold on here. There we go. Okay. Mini coffin, four ninety nine. Oh, it turned off again. I guess it needs to be charged. Okay. So, sorry, I'm trying to hold the camera and right at the same time, uh, as well as hold the light. Okay. So there's the baby's gift. Empress will probably get the coloring book. And yes, Passion wanted the coloring book too. Coloring book. Now I don't want to fill it in right now because I haven't bought these yet. Okay, so now where were we at? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five. So she doesn't have her big gift yet, or what I like to call the main gift. So maybe what I'll do is I'll take out the mini coffin and there it's focused now. So I might take out the mini coffin in her toy list and I'll just put it aside and keep it for another time. And I might get a scribble scrubbies for Empress. At is to be determined. One, two, three, four, five. That works out. So I think victory's done. Deity's done. And now it's just, oh, and baby's done too. It's just Empress and Passion and getting Arian's heating mantle over here. Okay, well, thank you very much for joining me. And I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. I wish everyone the best. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.